No! On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me one stick of Good Lips candy! Dearest Reinders, the time has come for... Do the voice! Okay. <clears throat> Dearest Slayers, tis time for this year's panto which by now you know is a no one-man show. Or woman! It is I, Lady Govius. Or sir! One of your narrators who'll help tell the story. I'm just the translator. You've met Christmas Miracle. Or any other religious holiday. And we'll soon meet the elves. Or any other vertically challenged person. So hold on to your seats and don't fall off your shelves. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two bouncing bubbles and one stick of Good Lips candy. <laughs> Standing before you, the picture of innocence. No fear or worry, no care for consequence. In this story, please remember, anything can happen. Therefore, I implore you, keep your ears and eyes open. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three chocolate logs, two bouncing bubbles, and one stick of Good Lips candy. <laughs> that looked good. That looked good. But lurking in the shadows, a dark force threatened a danger that would strike just about any second. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four Santa slaying three chocolate logs, two bouncing bubbles, and one stick of Good Lips candy. Oh, yeah. 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 On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five band strippers. There goes Miracle Christmas. Or any other religious holiday. You know what, we can't do the, you, this with you here. Who are you anyways? I'm a member of the head team. The head team? Who knows where they are? Oh my god, no, it's a team. Do you know where they might be? Do 
Okay, let's see how I'm doing. The head team. Have you seen the head team, gorgeous Tom? <laughs> have you seen them anywhere around Tangent? No. Robbie, have you seen the head team? What does this do? Ah! Ah! L4, grab my hand. I've got it. That's not my hand. That's my meaty mighty. Meet. <laughs> but hey, guys. Surely everyone knows where the head team is, don't you? We are here to tell you a story, for it's this time of year. When you see year 13 all stressing, Christmas is near. Tanglin is festive, and to no one's surprise, just like every other year, the Christmas elves have arrived. <laughs> it's time for them to add to Tanglin's panto tradition. We hope they'll do better than last year's unimpressive Christmas mission. As they walk around school, there's so much they've not seen. However, their final destination is the Senior Canteen. Whoa, Senior Canteen? Can we even afford to be here? And why are there so many rows? Or shall I say, ho ho hoes? A bit unnecessary if you ask me. Well, no one asked you. Uh, why don't you just go jingle your balls? Uh, bells! Bells! I, I mean bells! Okay, let's be s elf aware and think about why we're really here this Christmas. 
Well, there's always a lot of Christmas problems that we have to self solve at TTS. Oh, fiddlesticks. We should come more than once a year. I didn't even want to come this year. I'm only here because of cultural diversity reasons. You can't say that! Nobody's supposed to know that. Anyways... Oh, look! <gasps> Is that an effing, elfing kangaroo? Hop, hop, hop! It's speedy. Is that a mullet I see? Oh, I saw some of those this, this summer in Australia. It's running really fast and fit, almost like an elf. Ooh. Ooh. Could it be the, the one, one and only, only most important, important voice at Tanglin? The elves were confused and couldn't believe that a person at Tanglin could have such a fast speed. But soon would they learn that the shiny object would need their help to save Christmas in 22's Christmas project. Ah, perfect timing. <laughs> Not as good as mine. I won the old Olympics with these feet of mine. Yes, sir, yes, but wasn't it the Commonwealth Games of 1978, sir? Stop your bitching and moaning. <laughs> Ooh. My voice has taken us leaps and bounds, not only physically, but metaphorically. Ooh. Ooh. Woo hey. I've used my voice to shred light on the importance of opening a new building at Tits. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. TTS, TTS. Some of you may have seen me on the rise and grind running around the school, uh, vocally implementing the new impressive features that this building has to offer. Just like the gym, my office. And like it, doesn't ask silly questions, which is why I think we get along, you know. Me and the gym will never break up. We always just seem to work out. <laughs> <laughs> just like uh, keep your squats low and your standards high. No curls, no girls. Right, oh, right, oh. Just before I give you a little glimpse of my ripper of a beauty building, I wanted to tell you that the new building is voice activated, so you, Ooh. you best believe my important voice is going to open it. <gasps> Rightio, I know you've been waiting for it, so let me show you a bit of my handiwork.
important voice at Tanglin Trust. Access denied. Ooh. Maybe you're not as important as you thought you were. No, 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 no stress. Let's, let's just try it again. I'm the most important voice here at Tanglin Trust. Access Ooh. denied. Ooh. God, it's going a bit TTS up, isn't it? Oh. oh, thank God I have my elves. I hear you're here to save the day. I like you. You're quiet. That's how I like my students. <laughs> um, clearly, I'm not the most important voice at Tanglin, so I think uh, I'm going to point you in the direction of 100 years of excellence. Okay. Th thank you, Mr. Considine. Right, oh, I'm going to go speak to the PE teachers about time um, we talk about the cracker of a job they've done on the pool. Hey. Bye. <laughs> well, this is certainly something different. Well, this is certainly something different. Maybe we're the ones with the, the most important voice at Tanglin, as we're saving Christmas every single year. Wait, we're sa trying to open a new building this year? What happened to the Christmas spirit? God, not like last year where there was snow vid. Oh my God, hashtag 2021, hashtag we better than the class of 2022. Last year, all they did was save the panda from a fire alarm. Uh, shush yourself. At least we still have a mission. To find the most important voice. A tangling. All go. in favor, say slay. Slay. Like the ride. Slay. Slay, slay, slay. Hey, hey. Can you come out with me? Come out with this door. Voice and face. Okay, Claire, you have a go. You have a go. Okay. okay. Don't worry. Yep. I'm the most important voice in Tangling. Open! Do you squat it? Sorry Claire, sorry. Helen, do something, do something, get us in. I am the most important voice in Tanglin. Open! Too much, dear. Too much. Never mind. Right, let's see what you got. I am the most important fellow in the land. Thou shalt open! Willie Shakespeare, too early. Too early for him, please. Everything's on you now. Maybe it's a number. Yep. Maybe it's the year that Tanglin opened. Um, 2024, take away 100. 1982, open! Jeez, Chris, you better be a mathematician. Right, everything's on you, everything's on you, Miss Goodliff. Right, surely the most important voice in Tanglin is my husband's. Open! No, no, no. Mr. Goodliff is not the most important person. Sorry. Right, okay. Over to you, careers. Come All on, right, Zoe. So we can open any door. I am the most important voice in Tanglin. No, I'm afraid. You've peaked too early. We've peaked too early when you leave. Thank On you. your way. Jack, I think you. I'm pretty, I've been thinking. Yeah, According to Jeremy Bentham's utilitarianism, every voice in Tanglin is equal. So the most important voice must be the one that promotes the greatest good for the greatest number. Not already, oh. Jack. Thanks. Can you get me a cup of coffee, please? I'm late. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. Well, 
Clearly the teachers do not have the most important voice at Tanglin. Let's we go be- unlock this building then. All right, let's go, elves! <laughs> and On so the-, the elves begin their most important quest. Heading to the library, seeking help from who knows best. Our heroic elves made their way to the books, dashing through the halls with their blinding good looks. They make their way into a dark and gloomy room, hoping to find a way to resolve their ever-impending doom. While scanning the shelves, the elves spot a figure, one that slowly moved closer, getting bigger and bigger. Ah! Stop screaming! Ah! Hello? Yes? Uh, Are you the excellency of a hundred years? That is indeed the name that I have been bestowed. Young elves, what brings you to my lair? Lair, I told you so. Mate, isn't this the library? Shut up! This is my lair. (laughs) Are you going to keep on using that voice? This is my lair. Anyway, what brings you to my lair, young elves? Look, we've been told that you can help us find the most important voice at Tanglin. Is that true? Ah, yes. If it is the answers to the new building you seek, I have a prophecy that you young adventurers will listen to. Ah, yes. One moment. The answer is coming to me. There is a person who will show you the world. We really just want to open this new building. Shut up! Can you stop interrupting me? Why can't you be more like that elf that doesn't speak? (laughs) Anyway, the most important voice in Tanglin possesses the answer that you seek. You know what you must do? Now, get out of my lair. I must return to my studies. Here are my references. (gasps) <gasps> oh no! I forgot! You forgot the date access! <gasps> Are you kidding me? No! I can't trust you to me! nothing to you! Okay, so who is the most important voice at Tanglin? They didn't really help us at all. <sighs> Maybe it might be a musically talented voice? Or a well-respected prince? Harry or William? No, no, neither one of those. Oh. All right, then the music department is where we're going next. That's so stupid. Oh. <sighs> Having met the librarian and hearing of their quest, they go in search of music, agreeing it's the best shot. Oh. But as they arrived, they regretted their choice. They seemed to walk in on a competition called... This is the voice! Hello, everybody! I am your gorgeous host this fine Mo November night. Sorry. Sorry, it's December. My bad. Um, And let's take a look at some of our previous contestants.
<laughs> Wasn't that just fantastic? Welcome to The Voice. If this is your first time watching in, we travel the whole school looking for the best performer, singer, and talent. And the winner gets free food from the cafe. Because God knows we can't afford it. Oh my God, a talent show. Can we participate with our rapping? No, obviously not, because we won't win. Unfortunately, due to the fact that all of our judges are IB students, they can't make it because they are trapped in their textbooks and can't leave until they stop complaining about how hard taking IB is. Seriously, did they write this script in a day? So, we Ironic. need six new judges. Ironic. Come on, guys. This is our chance. Right, the people who have just walked in, can you be our judges? Come up stage. Oh, oh, oh six. As our judges are coming up, let's take a look at last year's winners and see how they're doing now. Don't want a lot for <laughs> Krimmer. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I don't need to hang my stocking Watch me there upon the fireplace Make my wish come true All I want for Christmas is you Follow hard like I'm Lost by 100 points team Home alone just like my golly Screw said extra cause they ain't helping my Spaghetti in the toilet better than select all my L's have responsibility, purpose, and respect. PE is a respect subject. Like the great entanglement, we are perfect. Yeah. 50k for some education, you year 12's got prediction. School fees, we take our checks, and Piper got that test of the flex. Yeah, high school teach about safe sex. Yo, teachers don't use that latex. Yo, baby after baby. Students ain't a priority. Yeah. Skip school, don't go to class, cause that new building still looking like bathroom girls got lost. Cause y'all, year 10's be drawing. Get a ladder, showing yeah. up on that Nixon cheese block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. I don't know what's more weak, tangling's great or students' lungs. Coming into school today, it ain't Christmas gifts that been brung. What? Your 11's naming themselves as a cool car, it's like Porsche here. Did they really think that that was such a cool idea? Pull up to school with two earrings, you'll end up in death row. Seen less earrings school today than I've seen blue avatars. Good luck, Considine, and don't forget Miss Brucey. I'm done with tangling school, so you can kiss my booty. Booty. Alright, alright, now play the whole. Aren't they just the best? Now, let's hear from our first contestants. Hi, we're from Year 6 and we're going to be singing one of our favourite Christmas songs for you today. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose like a light bulb. And if you ever saw him, saw him you would even say it glows like a flashlight. All of the other reindeer <laughs> get them off stage! <laughs> off oh, stage! Oh, off stage! Joining any reindeer games like Monopoly. Merry Christmas! Get home. Get home. Aren't they just precious folks? No. Seems like we have a lot of cute performances tonight with this next one. Hi, I'm Mimo from Year 6 also, but I'm cuter. I'm going to be singing a song about perseverance and hard work. Thank you. Wow, that was, that was really something, Re that was great, okay, well, 
with our next performance, fresh off their debut performance at St. George's. Let's see how they perform. Now that is true talent, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we have some up and coming rappers who after several years of molding and crafting their music have finally decided to perform a song which is said to be completely different from what they've previously done. Now I don't know about you guys, but I want to hear it. Say phút em gặp anh là em biết em si tình 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 tang tang tình tang tình 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 tang tang tang. Say phút em gặp anh là em biết em si tình 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 tang tang tình tang tình 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 tang tang tang. Final performance. We have a boy band from Year, year Nine. Year, are we sure they're from Year Nine? Can we, can we check that? Yeah. Okay. They're from Year Nine. Introducing the Twenty Years Backstreet Boys. Dum dum da da dum dum. 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 Desire the lead. Dum dum da da dum Shake, they're actually from year nine. Like, can we, producers, can we see that? Thank you. Well, there's obviously nothing here. Let's go find the next. Voice. It was very inspirational, though. I mean, inspiration. So kind, <laughs> so brave. With the talent show oh, over, no. the elves thought they'd seen it all. Um, but they stumbled upon some PTSCs in the exam hall. Um, thank you so much for everyone for coming. Um, thank you so much to all the teachers for being here as well. 
Um, in this PTSC, we've really taken everyone's valuable feedback so that everyone can have such an elegant experience. Thank you, everyone. Your son is great at working in teams of sex. Teams of sex. And he works fantastically with his classmates. Your daughter is so fit. <laughs> at inspiring the future generations of this school. You lot are a tough class to work with. I mean, he's got a pen enabled device, but that's the only thing that he's got going for him in physics this year. <laughs> Perhaps he's more inclined towards something less intellectually straining. Bio. Or, or colouring in maps. So, <clears throat> sorry, I mean geography. I think that we're in a hmm. quite an energetically favorable position right now. <laughs> and as long as he continues to outrun his problems and the entire class does badly, well, I think Big Daddy should pull him through. <laughs> Just go back. Oh, yes, see, 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 see. He's been able to retrieve his voice using a. Puta madre. He's able to retrieve his voice. He's my appropriate knowledge organizer. His augmentation with the year of the pen. In Catalonia, where I personally found my own voice. See, 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 see. See. Can you please explain the carbon cycle? Shh! This major planetary defect caused by this thing called the enhanced greenhouse effect. It's causing me so much pain. All oh, this acid rain. It's throwing me to the bone. What they're doing to the ozone. Yeah, I still don't get it. Flipping heck! Honestly, your son hasn't been doing enough at home. He needs to be producing writings weekly, getting a French girlfriend, and listening to news in slow French all the time. My toddlers of one and two, they don't do lullabies. They do news in slow French. I think you could still get a five. However, a seven might still be in reach. Sorry, I've got a dash. Now, now we've seen the teachers in their professional environment. Let's see them in a slightly more informal way. Somebody won't tell me. If I ran into you, you're so exothermic. Okay. Date me, and all your problems will be polygon. Oh. I'm not sure my girlfriend would think that, to be honest. I think she thinks the problems will be multiplied. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tweet to read. Scientists recently discovered a brand new element called butium, and it looks like you're made out of it. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's why around you. If every action has an equal and opposite reaction, why won't you reciprocate my love? <laughs> it's like something my wife would say. Mr. Deck's eyes are like black holes. I just get sucked into them. Yeah, well, it sucks at something, that's for sure. <laughs> the device is really slow, it's not loaded yet. <laughs> Should I turn it off and on again? It's not loaded. Head of technology, everyone. <laughs> These devices are a bit rubbish, aren't they? <laughs> Should we get Max for everyone? <laughs> buy, buy Max all around, yeah? <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. Mommy, this on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better give me some money because my interest for you is high. If you were an angle, you'd be a cute one. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
My favourite curve in economics is your smile. <laughs> Mr. Hutchins can impose a five-year plan on me. Five-year plan on me? What does that mean? Why are you filming this? You can impose a five-year plan on me anytime. <laughs> I know my maths. You've got one significant figure. <laughs> okay. Could you have a look at my guitar? I think my G string is a little tight. You must be made of oceanic crust because I feel like you should have been subducted beneath me. There are 25 letters in my alphabet. All I need is you. <laughs> are you in a band? Because I bet we could make some sweet music together. Oh, uh, I mean, the whole thing. I mean, come on. Come on. Really, I'm cringing inside. I'm really, really cringing inside. I like, seriously. No? No, seriously. Video I might pay. Yeah. Grinch! Grinch! My Scooby. What? I can't say that. Who wants to say that? Where's it coming? Normally, we'd now have a tangling tradition, but the class of 2023 decided to produce some carbon emissions. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. The fire alarm has been activated. Please exit the building in an orderly fashion and head to Media Corp. The fire alarm has been activated. Please exit the building in an orderly fashion and head to Media Corp. If you are near the Snake Alley ramp, please turn around and head back through the burning building as you are not allowed to exit that way. Do not be alarmed by the burning building as it will only take half an hour to get through the two assigned gates. But please, please remain calm and quiet as you exit the burning building. The elves skipped off certain to get help from Taryn Edgerton. That's another story. Oh, just one more. But sir, my business IA is due. And my TOK draft is late. Don't worry, ladies. I'll just give you an extension. Oh, stop, sir. You're making me blush. So inspirational, sir. Sir, your eyes are so enchanting. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sir, we really need to talk to you about IB. Well, you've come to the right place. Oh, I just wish there was a way I could relieve myself from all this stress. Oh. 
You must train yourself to see beyond the clouds of the night, for you will only know calm when you're at peace with the dark and let go of your fright. Oh, sir, I just love how open-minded you are to trying new things. Girls, don't you fret. I've helped countless people with bending, not breaking. Wow, sir, you seem so knowledgeable in this area. Teams us when you're ready to be a risk taker. <laughs> Mr. Ho 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 An A-level student just came up to me and said that they had more work than me. Can you remind us that we're superior? <clears throat> to answer power with power, the IB way, this is not. This, in this war, there's danger and of losing who we are. Wow, I've got way too many assignments. Can you take one off? And that yellow shirt too. Hi, sir. Heard you can tell us about CrossFit. Finally, people into my real passion. Where'd you get these big, juicy biceps? And can you show us how to grow some broad shoulders? Or how you got these big, girthy tree trunk legs? Well, boys, there's only one answer to that. CrossFit. Would you like me to teach you some exercises? It would be an honor, sir. Let's start with some squats. Remember, get low and be risk takers. Sp open those legs like you open your minds. Now, let's do some push-ups. Oh, remember to always work on your core. But it's only worth three points. All right, boys, that's enough. Thank you, sir. We heard you can solve all our problems. Hello, elves. So, can I ask you a favor? Of course, what do you need? Well, as you're the most important person in Tanglin, and clearly the strongest, do you think you can unlock the building for us? Ah, elves, with great power comes great responsibility. Sir, I, I don't think you've caught our drift. Please, can you help us open the new building? Well, if you don't want my motivational quotes, then I'm out of here. Sir, is there really nothing you can do? Well, I can think of one thing. Go and see the T.O. King. Oh. Off we go. Thank you, sir. Thank we you. wish you a Merry I'll Christmas. We, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you... Thanks. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Ho Ho Hoda's words of wisdom, the elves continued on their quest to their T.O. Kingdom. But when they arrived, their mouths dropped in shock to find the T.O. Kings recording a TikTok. Okay, one thing about us, we're the smartest alive. You know it does a lot of uh-uh, but it's fine cause we thrive. I don't let stress get to me, I be so much of a grind. I got a princess face, a killer body, samurai man. arrived in the Teo Kingdom? Are you speaking a foreign language? I, I thought there were three Teo Kings. It's, it seems to just be one. Hi. So, TOK, yeah. Um, but it's, it's all about the, the methods, and if you want to TOK properly, then you have to think about the, the perspectives and the ethics, and then every once in a while maybe give it a knowledge community, and that's basically how we tick. Um, um, sir, could, could you help us find the most important voice at Tanglin? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course, me. <laughs> of course I can. I need my glasses. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, so the truth, uh, you wouldn't understand anyway, because if you don't have the ultimate knowledge, you would never understand the TOK prophecies. Sir, it's okay. I, I've done IB for the last two years, so I understand the language. I, I'll translate everyone. All right, good, good. Is that Charlie? Can, can you tell us? Just, yeah, I can give you a gift. Okay, well, here's, yeah. my, here's my gift to you. Uh, 
the, uh, the theory of knowledge and textbook. One, and some more words of wisdom here. Return to the wild, uh, the world of books you must, in her excellence of 100 years you must trust. You six have shown many ways your great ambition to solve the mystery behind the top secret mission. But remember this, elves, before you go, there's nothing that the one true T.O. King don't know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, T.O. King. We so wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. So after heeding the words of the wise T.O. Kings, looking for the person that they need to sing. The elves used T.O. Kings to their device, sneaking out, seeking out the final words of advice. So off the elves went on the final steps of their journey. If they failed, they would hear from Mr. Considine's attorney. Prancing through the halls, they galloped back to the place where they found her excellence of a hundred years, a magazine pressed into her face. Suchi! Oh, for the love of the Christmas miracle, please, can you help us? Ah, yes, my young adventurers. How might I be of assistance? Well, when you told us that super paying prophecy earlier, I think we may have misunderstood it slightly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I simply cannot retell a prophecy. It is against what's in here. In here? I thought you had to cite your references. Please, Please. we've been elfing everywhere, all around tits. No. Sorry, sorry, TTS. Please, At Your Excellency. Point, no, sorry, I simply cannot help you. Please, no. <laughs> Listen here, are you gonna tell us the prophecy or are we gonna tell the whole school that you aren't really a hundred years old <gasps> and that you don't cite your references? No, you can't do that. Oh, oh my yes, days, can. stop fighting. We know who it is. You speak? I, I didn't know you had a voice. Who are you? Gremlin. <laughs> Troll. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, what? I don't understand. Mr. Mr. Forbes. Forbes! The elves needed to make the final call that would ultimately save them from taking the fall for Mr. Considine. These rhymes are so bad. Shush, we're nearly there. So they rung Forbesy up, hoping for the key. However, the answer they sought wouldn't come that easy. Okay, elves, we need to call up Mr. Constantine. How, how, oh, he's, he's there. Hi, hi, sir. Here we are. Merry Christmas, everybody, and a warm welcome to the Forbes household. Here we are, three years into lockdown. Can you believe it? Three years of the pandemic. Haven't left this apartment, haven't gone back to the UK, but still sane. And why? Because of the Mr. Forbes videos, you know that you love them, you know they keep me going, and there's always something to show you, always somewhere to explore. Come on. There's Mr. Roberts, the Christmas tree. Sir, he burned. There he is. There's watching the World Cup. Come on, England, on the TV. We lost. There's we lost. photos over here. Where's Lucy? There she is in the picture. Yes. And then, of course, there are the well-known records. And, of course, Mr. Forbes' theme tunes. There they are. Nothing like at this time of year. A bit of Beach Boys. But, of course, in December, it's got to be the Christmas festive album. What was that? You don't want any more lockdown videos? No! We've well, done three years of them. What do you mean? You don't want any more. What's going on? <sighs> that wasn't very helpful, Mr. Forbes. Can you please, please help us? Please? Mr. Forbes? Where have you gone? No more lockdown videos. Three years, three years of lockdown videos. That's 52 plus 52 plus 52. This is number 121. Joke from Soldus there. Anyway, what's going on? So, you think it's Mr. Forbes' voice who's locked the new building? The most important voice at Tanglin? Not anymore. Never was. 
The person you need to find is a student. It's the student's voice who's locked the new building. And that student is called Miracle Christmas. So check on one note, check on ISAMS, open one of those red registers that we used to use with lines and circles, and you will find Miracle Christmas. And it's that student's voice who will open the new building for you. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm going to sit down now and enjoy a good book. That's it then. That's our answer. Bye, Mr. Forbes. Bye. Bye. That's Bye. it then. That's our answer. I think we've found it. The most important voice is Miracle Christmas. <gasps> Miracle Christmas. Miracle Christmas. <laughs> No, no, on the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me. On the first day of Christmas! Hey, hey, hey! I've known the answer all along, but you guys what? couldn't shut up for one moment. If you just listened to me, I could have told you the Christmas truth and we would have been on our holidays now. But no. I swear, every year these elves just get dumber. Can you stop blabbering on? We get it. We know who the most important voice is. It's Miracle Christmas. Who do we think it is? Is it the singer? Boo! Yay! Or is it our dancer? <laughs> the most important voice of Tanglin is sadly not John. What? Mm. But it's not Miracle Christmas either. His voice isn't really miracle worthy. I don't even know who could have picked him. He's just really quite bad. I think Mr. Forbes might have been lying to us. I think he was because the most important voice of Tanglin is right in front of us. <gasps> what? It's you guys. Who other than our own students? <sighs> oh so so we guys, we need your help to we open the building. Hashtag Team Let's Tanglin. Sing with us, everyone! Year 13, come out! Year 13! Year 13! Year 13! Come! You go around, you go around. Sing! Christmas! Foster Christmas! My true love said to me! I don't care about the presents! I need the Christmas tree! I just want you for my own!
looks so brightly everywhere And the sun of children have to fill the air And we want to sing it Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Yes,